Hello, we're going to do a walk through your 2020 uh, Intec Ellipse. As we come through here, it's got a magnetic door holder. Holds the door back. You push this over, it releases your door screw the screen. Locks in place. To release it, you push that and it comes back and it will automatically attach to there. As we continue on, 110 outlets. Another magnetic latch holds open your big storage compartment under the back dinette here. As we come around, you got your tail lights, just your bumper, license plate holder and light, and your backup camera that's right there. As we proceed, there is your spray down for your water on this. This just pulls out and locks into place there. Slides right back in, stores like that. There is your fresh water and city water connection. So you take this off, put your hose in that fills your water tank. When it's full, it blows out of the bleeder valve. If you're in nicer campgrounds with hookups, you'll hook onto here with a hose and you have unlimited water that way. You should use a pressure regulator if you are going to use that fitting. And some campgrounds run very high pressure. And here's your sewer hose holder. That opens by turning this little lever, like so. Put that on like that. Here is your crank down rear stabilizer jack. There's jacks like this on all four corners. Now, here's where your power cord attaches. This is your battery vent for the battery that's in the unit. And that's for cable TV inlet or satellite inlet, okay? This is for portable solar panel, but this unit's got a rooftop solar on it, so we won't go into that too much depth. This is your waste valve tank. This cap comes off. <clears throat> then you hook your hose on and you pull that valve open like that. Okay, that's just an RV antifreeze draining out that we just had in it when we flushed the winterization. This is the back venting for the refrigerator. There's no reason to be in there. This is the exhaust for the furnace. Uh, you might consider getting a bug screen for this or about $25. As we progress here, this removes This removes and that gives you access to your two propane tanks. You just undo the thing there and they'll slide off. Now this goes back on. Same way. You just right there. And then you put your clips back in. Okay. This one's got a generator mounted here in the front. The cover just comes off. It's bolted right on. You would have to remove the four bolts to get the generator loose. Now this one's also got a front stone shield cover that snaps onto it that's inside. We'll show you later. But it hooks right onto these four pin, uh, these pins all the way around the outside of the unit. Now we'll show you how the awning works. Okay. This crank, it's got a little T in it goes in here and crank it out. <coughs> At any point you can <coughs> stop this and release the leg and it'll swing down and you can stick it down to the ground. Now to bring it back up, it just locks in the same way. So if you're shorter. Now the other thing that's here is a crank that does the stabilizer jacks we were talking about on all four corners. Standard three-quarter inch socket size. So you could 
get a drill socket to fit that. Now let's go inside and see what we're hose, and we'll put that in a holder outside. This is your table base. If you look at it, it's got a T-lock. Goes on like so. And it spins and tightens. Then the table just sets on like so. This is that stone cover that we looked at, and you can see where those little pegs just push in there to hold that in place. Now, while we're right over in this area, reading lights, and they have a blue tint, or if you hold them in, they do become white, okay? On your blind here, daytime shade, room darkening, nighttime shade. Then as you go across over there, you'll see USB charging ports, 110 outlet, and then a switch for the main lights that are in this back area here. You also have some front and rear speakers here. Now above your head, you'll see the solar control module. It's all preset. It tells you how much battery power you're at, all the sun's charging and everything, and how charged your battery is. And all the miscellaneous information on this trailer, the cheat sheets on the stereo and the TV. Um, here's the remote for the TV, just power on, standard Jensen TV. Not oh, I'm not plugged in, so that's why that won't kick in. <clears throat> and then this is the power for the stereo system. Then, as you come over here, this is the controls for the Max Air fan on here. Open event. It's all power from and then you can set your three span speeds. You can shut the fan off or close the fan. Well, this is your thermostat for your heating and cooling. Okay. Turn that on. Go to the mode. That mode is high fan speed for the air conditioning. Okay, and then you go up and down and set your temperature. Or you go to the next mode, which is your heat setting, which would be for the furnace. Okay, again, you up and down for there. The furnace just kicked in. We'll shut that all off right now. These are the two keys for the trailer that open and lock your front door. As we continue on, there's another control panel here. It's just for all your accent lighting, your main cabin lights, porch light, interior light, uh, front light, and your cabin lights, accent lights. Now, if we come over here, here is your refrigerator. You turn your control on it turns the unit on then you either have to start, choose gas battery or electric and then the higher the number up that you light up the more the, the cooler the temperature will be okay this is your little freezer pretty straight up here's your control panel that's all your 110 circuit breakers and all your 12 volt fuses. This turns your Wi-Fi Ranger on. The code numbers for it there to have, have access to it. And then here's the rest of your mechanicals. The light your water heater on electric. Light it on gas. Turn your tank heaters on. Turn your pump on. Battery center. Fresh water gauge. Black water gauge. Okay, it's all right there. Here's your stereo. The only thing that's kind of tricky with this, you turn the power on. Okay. Then you get zone A and B, A's front, B's back. So if you don't want to light up the whole trailer and you want to just listen to it up here or, up there, or in the back, that's all you need to do. And that's pretty much it. There is a battery disconnect that's right over here. Another outlet, USB charging ports, okay? 
as we do come over here, I guess there's a few more things. <coughs> this just rolls up as a extra storage space. This swings over, does detach. That gives you uh, your volume. This is more or less water, hot, cold, this way. Okay? And then this turns the headset on. So you can set the water and then shut it off. Here is your accent light for your kitchen lights in here. Oh yeah, here is your stove top. This lifts up, turn this to light, push it in, turn the lights by pushing that button in. After it's lit, turn it to high, and or low or wherever you wanna go on it, but you do have to hold it in light. This does have a lock on the lid, so you do have to lift up and let it transform forward. Now, as we go into the bathroom, there's a few things here. You know, if you wanna lock it, that'll lock the deadbolt in the bathroom. As you come in here, <coughs> There is a switch on the wall right here that turns your lights on in the ceiling. This opens your vent, and then there's a little push button here for the exhaust fan. You got your hot and cold water here. Volume control is built into the head right there. Now the toilet is a very nice ceramic toilet. You just foot flush like that, which flushes stuff down in the waste tank that way. And then you have a cargo bag and a dry toilet paper. Keep her here to keep your toilet paper dry. And that's pretty much everything.